Welcome to Ask Me Six Sigma YouTube channel. I am James, and we are going to uncover some questions you never get to ask in statistic classes. Some may be pretty basic, while other could be quite interesting. This week, we'll explore how to determine a process yield based on the reported CPK values. CPK or PPK is a universal measurement of a process capability. The higher the value, the better is the process capability. Many quality organizations demand critical process to have a minimum CPK of 1.67. Some even asked for 2. But what does this mean? A process with CPK equal to 2, would meant it reached 6 sigma quality. The defect by calculation would be 1 PPB for one-sided specification or 2 PPB for two-sided specification. The calculation formula in Excel are as follows. We also know that every process have a variation. For a process with CPK of 2, and have a 1.5 sigma process variation, your final process defective rate is 3.4 ppm. If your process variation is less, for example, 1, then the defective rate is 0.3 ppm. One important to note is that CPK is a measurement of the process by a specific output parameter. A process with CPK of 2 may have fallout more than the calculated value. Why? It is because that CPK is a measurement of a specific output parameter. And that parameter does not represent all the defects from that process. Simple analogy. In an apple plantation, sweetness of apple is being monitored. Sweetness may have CPK of 2, but the yield or defective from the apple plantation may be poorer than calculated valued of 1 ppb. Other defects, like size, skin defect, rotting could contribute to the yield. However, in 1 billion of the apples, only one piece is less sweet. The 1 ppb defect. That's all for this week. Till next video, have fun with numbers.